Welcome back, artistic family, to Shannon Gibson Art and Designs, and to today's Earthy Pour 2.0. Okay, guys, so last time, you know, I used those great warm colors, soft, uh, yet some vibrance with the pop of copper. Doing the same thing again today. You guys really loved it. I'm glad you guys loved it, because I did too. Funny thing about it is... You know, I've been doing the gold bold series, bold gold series, and letting the gold shine and, and be front and center in terms of, you know, either negative space or being the majority of the color on the canvas. And as much as I love copper and I use it frequently, again, uh, I rarely have done that with copper um, a few times. So it takes a while with all the variations and technique guys to kind of get through stuff. But as you guys know, I use silver, bronze, copper, gold, black. So, you know, 90% of the time, so I'm still kind of gobsmacked about that. But I have some other ideas going on, guys, so this is going to be a thing. And I'm going to be using a lot of these colors in different variations. I have a lot of ideas. Still sticking with my neutrals, but uh, little pops here and there and changing some variations. Gorgeous. So, uh, I'm going to get going, guys. I'm going to get in my groove. I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking. I'm going to see you guys in the gorgeous close-up. Uh, and uh, let's get Lair in the cup.
on and love. Same very much type of look, how the sides are. Again, you'll see better in the close-up. This one has a lot less negative space, but like I said, I just wanted similarity. Close relative, I definitely got that. Um, bronze is a really reactive, one of the most re reactive uh, metallics blah, blah, that I have. I mean, they all are, but I find when I use um, bronze, I always get a few cells. I actually have some lacing. I love surprises, beautiful cells. Some of them got a little stretched out because I felt like I had a little bit too much paint. So once the camera stopped, guys, I just stretched a tiny bit more. Um, see in the light. But this is absolutely beautiful. The center looks very similar. Um, the other one was opened up a little bit more, but again, I had more negative space. I've got some beautiful, nice pearl cells there. I've got some gorgeous ones starting here in the corner. Again, you can see all that shimmer from the champagne and the white pearl. That seems to really radiate. I mean, they're all shimmery, but those two colors are the ones that look like glitter. So once again, gorgeous blend. I absolutely love it. I'm going to be using this color palette quite a bit, but in other variations, guys. Because like I said, you've seen me use it, just not in this way. And that's the possibilities of fluid art. They are endless. So anyways, guys, uh, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for all your feedback and support. And uh, go ahead and give this one a smash, a big thumbs up. Um, I appreciate that. And again, that lets me know what you guys like, and I will do more. So, thank you for your support, and until next time, I will see you in the next floor.